Welcome to RV Max channel. Today I'm bringing you this beautiful 2015 Ventana model 3635 from Charleston, South Carolina. We're not in Greenville, but it will be in Greenville in a couple of days. We just picked it up in Pauley's Island, South Carolina, just below Myrtle Beach. We drove it up here to James Island County Park. It's a beautiful place. So the motorhome is not washed. We're going to wash it but it looks so stunning. Only 40,000 miles, got 8,000 watts generator with about 293 hours. Beautiful coach, 36 footer with a bang of all kinds of stuff inside. I think Lizzie will show you inside, got king size bed and all that stuff. You'll see uh, big full wall slide here. It's got frameless windows throughout the coach. Nice acrylic type awnings on a bedroom and a living room. Lots of underbelly storage, we'll show you that. Brand new Sumitomo tires all the way around. They have less than 1,000 miles if that. Uh, 50 amp power cord and a, a water cord. They're all electric. So it's not an entry level. It's got all the stuff that you would expect uh, they would do on a Dutch Star, Essex, or King Air. It's got all that. Uh, beautiful full, full paint. I don't know what color scheme you call it. It's like, you know, champagne kind of black but it's black in a certain angle in the sun it hits it it looks like a it's got metallic uh stuff going on really beautiful and white it's just beautiful coach over here backside it's got isb 67 b67 liter 360 horse got a 10,000 pound um tongue weight but i think about 5,000 towing capacity unless you modify it can bigger uh, Beautiful fiber, fiberglass roof on top, nice cap. I haven't seen much flaws. I think there's a one little nick in the front cap I'll show you, but beautiful, just beautiful coach. Two slides here on the passenger side. Bedroom consists of a big king size bed. You'll see that. Sumitomo tires with the Alcoa aluminum wheels. Big, nice, brand new tires. Yep, less than 1,000 miles. All the way around, all six. So we've got an electric awning and it, it's, it has a wind sensor. You can set your sensor to high, medium, or low. So it depends if you're at the beach, put it at high or medium. I don't know. Depend on your test. So it'll go back in. So you don't come back from a grocery trip or on the beach and you come back, your awning is gone. That would be great. Not a good thing to have. So it has a rain, uh, what do you call the wind sensor. Entrance awning is also uh, electric. And you have a numerical pad to get in and out. So talking about a little thing I wanted to show, it is a model 3635. I say 30, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> 3635. Over here, I just saw a little nick, okay? I mean, I'm talking about, I'm trying to nitpick it. And it's actually in a 3M film. It's got 3M film, but you know, being a 15, it's in good shape when they get 10 years old. And the windshield doesn't seem to be any star cracks or anything. It looks really nice. We'll have this thing washed, looking shiny and new when you come grab it. Is this, does this open? It does. The, the generator opens up. It doesn't slide, but it's easy access. Let me go ahead and show it to you that. So it's got a little thing. You lift it here. I mean, it's got a pull handle, and then you just put it down here. It's got 293 hours. It runs great. And while you're at it, let me go ahead and crank it up so you can hold it. It has a preheat built into it, so it'll just, you hear that little noise of a fuel pump, and it'll fire right up. The colder it is, the longer it takes. Warmer it is, the less time it takes. Sounds smooth. I mean, this thing has even broken at 293 hours. Hey, right, speaking of that, you want to crank engine up? beautiful 2015 Numora Ventana and I love what they've done with the colors they've got a nice combination of the grays and tans it's very modern yet very neutral I love it so as we walk into the uh, kitchen so we get the dinette here um, the dinette has three stages it comes in and it's medium and it'll come out a few feet and there's two more chairs in the back so it's enough plenty of room for four people to sit 
and it's got the um, TV. It's a 50 inch TV. There you go. Okay, and here are all this two sets of keys. Here are all the owner's manuals here. And this couch is a very beautiful, soft, no wear and tear leather sofa, no um, fraying or anything at all. And it pulls out and it has an air mattress into a bed. Okay. And it's a queen size bed. The air pumps up here, lots of space up here. And I love the, the woodwork up here. Take a look at the really beautiful woodwork. Yeah. And I like the lights. See, it's got a nice combination of the grays with the tans mixed. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's very well done. All right. Now, as we step into the kitchen, we got some storage space under here. Okay. A stainless steel sink. One, one side, just not two sides. It's all together, which I like. It's, it's easier to wash. Um, three burner gas stove. Whirlpool microwave oven with the, I believe it's a convection oven. Yep. yep. Convection oven. Okay. And we step in here. And I really like how these doors open. And the, 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 the yeah, the bathroom is all together. You have your sink, uh, your toilet area. And I really like the backsplash uh, behind the sink. Let me step in here. I really like this backsplash. It's really light, but yet yeah, elegant. And the tub is a stand up shower. It's, it's pretty big. I'm five foot three and three quarters. <laughs> so this tub looks really big, but um, it's got the skylight in here. Also, um, I forgot to mention, there's a fantastic fan in the kitchen, but there's also one here. And it's also, um, you can run it automatic, so it'll cut on and off on its own, or you can run, run it manually. Thermostatically. Thermostatically controlled. Thank you. There's also a storage space. There's more storage in here. And yep, nice underneath, top. three drawers under here. Lots of space and then under here, and the toilet paper is right here. And I really like the tile they put in here. Uh, their refrigerator freezer, nor cold. The food does not, the food, and we might leave you a couple of bottles of water, but the food and the coffee will not come with the motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's more storage in here. And I really like the pull out drawers, so you're not reaching back in there. There you are. Lots of space. And I'm not sure if they adjust I don't think they do, but lots of space for storage in here. I really like it next, next to the fridge because you can keep all your canned goods and everything like that in. All right, we're going to walk into the bedroom. And this is, this is a beautiful king size bed. Um, even though this is a short motorhome, they still put a big king size bed. Um, like I said, it's a nice combination of the gray and tan together. Uh, another TV and this TV pulls out and it also pulls out this way. Tilted tilted and it comes out closer to you. Lots of drawer space. I mean, look at this space here. If you want to put all your makeup and everything or your bags, lots of drawer space and they all lock in. And it's got a stackable Whirlpool washer dryer combo. And I'm so glad that on the washer, they have the uh, pan. You, you really don't see a, a, a pan on the bottom of a lot of these in the motorhomes, which I'm surprised they haven't, but this one has it. So it's a stackable one too. Um, also over here, you've got a Sony Blu-ray uh, player in here. And uh, back in here, you have the, pardon our bags in here. We just put them back here. Uh, a huge closet space, place to uh, hang up your hang, hanging items. And then you've also got access to the back of the washer and dryer back here, which is really nice if you ever have to work on it. Okay. Um, more yeah they're cool looking they're very cool uh, more space up here and i also like how it goes in it doesn't come straight across so when you get up in the bed you're not hitting your bed on the thing i really like the back headboard and you got a window on each side if you want to have the windows open at night when you're camping i like it if it's cool and it's nice weather to keep them open let's look up under this bed this is where our two chairs are for there and more storage so if you have extra blankets or pillows or anything like that bedding it's lots of storage Whoa. all the blinds are mcd uh blinds they're they're in really good shape very easy to use day and night shades very good shape um no splatters or food splatters i can tell 
we weren't in here. <laughs> and also, um, the Dometic, it's got the, the HVA system consists of two a AC, roof AC units, as well as the uh, heat pump and a uh, furnace. This is the recliner chair. So when you have it turned around or when it's facing up, and again, my brown pants match the furniture. <laughs> yeah, um, right so you can have this out, it reclines, and, um, oh, or when you're yeah, turning yeah. around, or when you're turning around and you're traveling, I like to have my feet up, my feet don't reach the ground. And, oh, um, too, and yeah, you like, you like it too. Also, um, here's your, you know, I always have to stand on the chair to get to it. So here's your, uh, all your controls up here. You have your uh, level check right here for your gray, black and your fresh water and your LP checks. And here's your magnum inverter control, your slide out, your front two slides out, slide outs in the living room. Uh, here's your control monitor panel and here's your uh, awning. It's a carefree Colorado and also has the wind sensor on it too as well. Uh, it's got two, two ways to he heat the hot water. You have your uh, LP and electric. It also has the holding tanks also have heat pads. So if you're in freezing temperatures. All right, over here, a lot of the motorhomes have these. This is your circuit breakers. A lot of them have, in, have them in back under the bed or in the back closet, but the Newmore did a great job. They're up here in the front, very easy to access. All your shut off, your circuit breakers, um, and they're very nicely, easy, easily labeled to see. And here's all your, your um, 12 volt fuse box. And again, they're all labeled, very easy to get to. Here's your Sony surround sound receiver. Uh, it's also got a USB port. And it's got a Blu-ray uh, CD player as well. Okay, I just want to show you real quick. This is how the this motorhome looks like with the slides both in on both sides. So um, it's it's fine enough. You can walk back and forth here. Um, there is a little pinch point right here with the sofa chair. I get around it. I'm not a really big person. Um, I think you can turn. You know, if you wanted to when you're traveling, you can turn the sofa. You know a little like that but it is a little tight here some people i get a lot of people ask me about um, how the motorhome looks like with the slides in and this is as tight as it's going to get but once you get around here there's plenty of room you can get to your kitchen stove um the bathroom door like i showed you in the uh, main video it opens like that so it's not in the way you can also if you have an emergency and you got to get in the fridge and get some food you can't without putting the slides out but you know if you if you stop and you want to put one slide out this are all your 12 volt fuses and everything that is all your chassis components okay look at how clean the compartments are this is your lp tank all the doors open sideways you have uh coach batteries here interstate six volt Look at this pass-through storage. It's on a Freightliner chassis. Look at the fabric in the uh, uh, compartment, like brand new. Not a sign of little abuse, anything like that. Just very, very nice coach. They even have an Irish Spring. What do you call the the soap that I think it deters rodents and stuff like that. But it's I like the Irish Spring soap. <laughs> All right, over here, this consists of your. Now look, we haven't had a detail. We just picked it up yesterday, so you know, we'll probably have it a little bit of wash. Got sewer hose, you got a sewer flush, outside shower, water filtration system. And let me tell you something, Ventana, you think it's entry level? No, it's got everything that King Air has, like a top of the line Newmar King Air. It has electric water reel. It also has electric power cord reel. I mean, come on, Ventana? Yeah, it's, it's loaded. So let's show you wrist of stuff so brand new sumitomo tires they're like got what less than 500 miles in it uh just been replaced alcohol aluminum wheels that's your daft tank and look at the size of jacks they newmar don't play around i love newmar coaches always afraid it's gonna scratch with each other but one there's your electric uh power cord reel Automatic transfer switch is located very conveniently here. If it ever goes bad, which sometimes they do, rare, but it's easy to change rather than under the bed or something. Previous owner made a nice little compartment. I like that. Hey, put some oil, hey, shoes, whatever. So it's got a B6.7 liter Cummins, 360 horse engine, fiberglass roof. Back cap looks really nice. Got nice ladder on it. 
These are your chassis battery. And take a look at undercarriage. They must have carried some. It's got a 3000 Allison transmission, not 2500, 3000 Allison transmission. Outside TV with a JBL uh, sound bar. This TV should come out and tilt out. Yep, just like the one in the bedroom, right? So, pretty nice. A little extra HDMI. Slide out tray. Back saver, so you got a one slide out tray here. So the passenger side consists of two slide out. Look at the paint, it's in beautiful shape. Locked. I don't see any flaws. Have you seen any? I haven't seen any major body damage, any scratches or really good condition. So he's got dual fill. I think he's got a fill here and a fill on the other side. He's got a numeric pad to get in. So it's a 36 footer, but it's in really good shape. This drive on this 15, 2015 Ventana drives absolutely great. I mean, we're on this four land state highway 17 going towards Charleston. Take a build off and just steer straight. Well, you know why? It's got brand new Sumitomo 6 tires all the way around. Uh, less than six months old. Got navigation here. It's a Rand McNelly RV navigation. So it won't let you go under lower bridge and stuff. Backup monitor with a side camera. I love this, uh, you know, the gauges right here. You have your air pressures and oil pressure, temperature gauge right here in your column. That's like a race car. Also, look, the sun's coming up right here. We got the uh, sunshade. It's just push of a button. You don't have to you know, reach out and do anything like that. It's just really, really simple. HWH leveling jacks, automatic. We got the six-bit Allison, Cummins turbo diesel, heated, power mirrored. They have a, uh, what do you call it, exhaust brake. Works great. Just a good, solid motorhome. And it's a new mark quality. You're not gonna get coach like this. Not in today's market, so jump on it. Our number is 864, 404, 0054 or mine at 864-376-5600. Give us, give us a thumbs up on our video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we help you get financed.